In this video, I'm going to show you a new feature recently added to QImage 1, which lets you design and schedule unclog patterns. This feature can be accessed from the File menu or from the controls on the Print Settings tab here. So when would you want to use this new feature? Perhaps your prints aren't looking as good as they once did. You might be seeing marks or smudges on the prints. Uh, this could be due to clogged nozzles. Maybe the cleaning cycle isn't resolving it. Or maybe you want to set up a schedule to try and print purge sheets so that you don't have the clogs happening in the first place. This feature will help with all of those situations. Now the Mac version which I'm demonstrating here looks a little different from the Windows version of QImage 1. And those differences are just due to how the two versions of the programs work differently on the different operating systems. But they essentially perform the same functions. So let's start by deciding which printer we want to tackle first. Here we have a Canon Pro 1000 set up. So if I add an unclogged pattern in the dialog, you'll see that I get a brief summary of the printer, the media type, and the media size I have selected. If I want to make some changes to those rather than going back out of the dialog, I can just click on Properties. And this will pop up the print driver so I can go in and verify quality and other settings like that. So I click OK. And now I have a new unclog pattern set up. And let's look at the different options we have for this unclog pattern. First, you want to check only those colors which the printer supports, which it has cartridges for. So I know that this printer doesn't have orange and it doesn't have green. But it does have the other colors, so I'm going to leave those checked. Now, I can choose to print a full page or a half page. And the frequency here is, we'll get to that when we discuss the schedule below. So when I'm ready, I can click Print. QImage1 will generate for me a, a uh, pattern here, which will try and help unclog any stuck nozzles. And you could print this instantly if you wanted to. I'm not going to do that now, so I'll hit Cancel. It'll take me back to the main dialog. Now, if we want to add a second printer, we just again click Add Unclog Pattern. I'm going to click on Properties here. I'm going to pick a different printer that I have installed. And I'm going to pick its uh, page size, pip size. Check all the settings are good. I say OK. And I have a second entry. And again, I can set the colors. I know this printer doesn't have red, orange, green or blue. Now I can rename this if I want to simply by clicking in the fields. And I'm not really changing it very much here, but I'm just demonstrating that you could give these different names if you had, say, the Canon Pro 1000, you had two different entries for two different types of uh, paper, for instance. Now all this is remembered, so if I close out of the dialog here, Notice that it restores the job that I was working on previously. It's not going to interrupt my work. And if I click on Edit Schedule, it displays all the settings that I had before. So now let's talk about the schedule part of this tool, because this is where it becomes really useful. Down the bottom here is where we define the schedule. It's currently not running. You can see that we're, the schedule has not been started. And the next schedule to run, it shows never. So we can define a start date and time. If we click on the now plus one, it will give us basically this time tomorrow. Then we can define an interval, and this is probably too short, so we might want to make this, say, every other day. And then down here, we can have a specific end time. Let's say if you're going away on a trip for a period of time and you wanted it to, to end, you could define when it would end. It will then calculate for you how many times that this schedule will repeat. Or you can specify how many times you want it to repeat, and it will calculate for you the end date. Or you can just set it to never, and then it will keep running on the schedule until you stop it. Now, this is. let's go back and talk about the frequency up here. Right now I have this set to every two days. I'm going to change that back to one day for simplicity. So this means the schedule is going to run every day. And if the two settings up here say one, then this means every time the schedule runs, these two printers will print an unclogged pattern. Now, maybe I don't need it that much. Maybe I need the Canon Pro 1000 every two days, and maybe I need this one only every three days. So the first time the schedule is run, both these printers will print the unclogged patterns. And then on this frequency, following that, they will print every two days, every three days, whatever is the multiple of what you have down here. That way, you can control the printers so that they don't have to follow exactly the same schedule. 
Now to show this feature working, I'm going to set it back to today's date and just a little bit in the future. I'm going to start the schedule. And this gives us a warning about unattended printing. And then you notice that the schedule is updated down here. And also on the printer settings tab here. So it shows, and here we go, there's our 30 second warning that the printing is going to start. And then in a little bit we should see those two prints begin. There's the first one going. See it's printing to the Pro 1000. And now the 7100. And again it returns us back to our job. And you can see that the two, the two printers down here are going to print those purge sheets. And again, this is now updated till tomorrow's date. It shows you the next time it will print. If we want to stop it, we can do so from here. So that's how you use the new feature of QMage 1 to print purge sheets. And uh, I hope you found this useful, and I hope this will help with your printing. Thanks for watching.